Hey guys, how are you? Uh, welcome again to the EBM Scholars Show. Today, I have a topic I'm not expert on. It's something I've done, but I want to see the results. But I'm sharing with you before the results come out. So, it's something I want to, it's a information I found online, and I follow the procedures, and I believe things will work as I expected. It's about Instagram verified accounts. Many people want to have that blue tick on their accounts. You, uh, Instagram verification or verified accounts. What do you need to do in order to have that blue tick? People have been, I don't know, struggling. Whatever some people they have, even they sell fake verified accounts. All those situations. And if in case you do not know, this is the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that is the tick i'm talking about the instagram tick the instagram tick when you find someone's account at the end there is that blue tick even on twitter they have that one but i'm talking on instagram verified account what do you need to do in order to have instagram verified account i have applied for verification i've done my request for verification so i will tell you what are the steps you have to do and what are the requirements to do in order to get to be verified and maybe you can try also for yourself there is a big myth about instagram verified account because we get used to see all the people with five million uh, followers people with one million followers or two hundred thousand followers they have tick so we assume that you must be having a lot a lot of followers to have the verified accounts that is wrong is not true you can have one person following you just one follower and you can be a verified account it depends who you are they want to verify if you are real they want to verify if it's your account they want to, there are things they have to follow and they match with something else out of the instagram itself so it's beyond the very uh, it's beyond just like it. It's just beyond the number of followers for instance if barack obama joins i mean is already on instagram joe biden was a little bit later i'm giving example let's say obama doesn't have the uh, instagram account assume he doesn't have and today joins the uh, uh, instagram and is going to put the verified account to request for verification he's going to be verified within the first day even if doesn't have even a single follower so in the end they match with your public information. They match with YouTube. They match with, with Twitter. They match with Google to get all this information. So what do you need to do? There is application form you have to fill. A very simple application form. The form is very easy. You just go to the, your Instagram account and then you go to your profile. On the profile, there are those lines. You click those lines, you go to the setting. And on the setting, there is, you go to the account. On the account, there are certain options. There is an option of request verification. If you click request verification, automatically, because you are, I assume you have four pages or four, I mean, Instagram account, the account which you send in, it will automatically come there. For instance, on my case, it will come EBM signature as my account. So that account, when it comes there, then it will tell you, write your full name. You write your, you are going to write your full name and write your your nickname your official alias you are also other known and known and known name for instance i'm giving you an example 50 cent his name is not 50 cent his name is curtis whatever so his full name his real name will be curtis and then also known as name alias it will be 50 cents and then he has to upload the identification they have to see your ID as a verified account. So to avoid, it, like I know it is easier, you can put your normal ID, but I advise people to use passport. Because if the other ID, just like, okay, this ID, they might say you, you have for your ID. Some people in developing countries, you can use the national identification card, uh, the number, whatever the ID, or driving license, but you can forge those one easier. But it will be better to use, like, if you have a passport, use passport to do verification. So, what do they need to do? The verification is done manually. 
is not automatic. That's why many people are getting denied. They think that this verification is just very easy. Uh, so they do manually. So the best way before you go and jump into filling the form to ask for verification, go to the Google search and write your name and see what information they are coming. If you write your name and nothing comes there, don't waste your time to find yourself to be to ask for verification. Because those people who are doing verification, the first thing they are going to the Google search, second thing they go to the Twitter, third thing they are going to the YouTube. Who are you? Yes, you are a real person, you are Ernest Bonfas Makurilo, but if they search, what have you done to link you into to be a public verified? So, first thing, they look if you are a real person, authentic of that account. Is this authentic account the real account of a person? That's number one. Secondly, that account is supposed to be a public account, not a private. So, if you are putting your, private, your account in private, don't waste your time to ask for verification. Because you are verified, you are a public figure. Kind of that. Another thing, the account is supposed to be a real person, is a unique real person, or just is a real business. Don't just go there and create Harry Potter account. No. Just don't take a name character from the movie theater, whatever a certain movie, or you put John Rambo and just want to become verified. No. You need to be a unique kind of that. And you have to put a competitive bio. By a competitive bio, I mean your full bio, your full name. Not that you cute, whatever. No. Put your bio, your name. If you are influencer, you are blogger. There is a category when you are filling the application form. What category are you? Are you musician? Are you actor, actress? Things of that nature. So are you a blogger? Are you an influencer? Are you a writer? There are all those options over there. All other you can just select. There are so many options over there. So if you put a category you are in. And after putting category, then you have to have a profile photo. These are smaller things. Don't put like just blank, whatever. You have to have a private, uh, I mean, a profile photo. You have to have a complete bio. If you have a link over there about your website, they can, they're going to verify by clicking that link to see if that website opens. So those are the things to verify this person is public. So before you go to, to do this one, play with the, 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 the other media uh, on the digital part digital footprint go and create your identity on there if you google yourself you can find all this information and then overall as i said you must be notable you must be searchable someone can search you and get some of your information about you beyond instagram so what i did on my end uh, because after all these years i've been on media doing everything like on digital so if we go to the google search and put my information you'll find a lot of information about myself i've been writing a lot of books i've been producing these videos so many videos i've been doing a lot of public speeches i've been doing a lot of blog posting so i've done a lot of things if you go to search me you'll find so basically i see myself i made some of the qualifications and as I said, they don't care how many uh, uh, Instagram followers you have. You, I've seen some people with 1,000 uh, uh, Instagram followers, but they can be verified. That's the point. So you can be verified some, uh, as long as they can search you and see your publicity or what you have been put in the digital, digital area of something like that. And when you apply, there is no guarantee of being verified. There is no guarantee. I can have everything like this what I've done and put in my application for verification and it can be denied. Don't cry. You are allowed to reapply after a few days or a few months, whatever. So keep building your digital life and then ask for verification. Once you ask, you get a ver verified account. Some people, they say it's not a big deal. Some people, it's a big deal. It's just to have that identity. You have been verified. So your account, you become like a public figure officially. So sometimes the more you are going, growing bigger. For instance, assume like I'm giving an example for Tanzania. Diamond Platinums. Uh, he's having over 5 million followers. It's not a joke. How many people, they have different accounts with the name related to Diamond. Kind of that. So already he's having a digital footprint. If you are talking about maybe another Davido in Nigeria has a digital footprint and is a famous person. So there are those people we already know they are bigger than those. And there are some people like already they are not that big, but they have already digital 
platform to make them be verified so sometimes it helps you for instance like to create some credibility so it depends if you are doing music if you are doing uh, if i'm a writer and they have that one it's just another credibility that this person is credible by having the blue tick something of that it's not uh, uh, the end of the world that if you don't have there are so many people who are famous they don't have but if you have is another level of credibility so i've done in my application i i did it well, yesterday i think yeah i think i did it yesterday so i did my application so i'll come back here after 30 days if i get the results whether it's yes or no i'll come here back and give you the update what happened if i've been denied i'm not going to cry i'll wait maybe for another two weeks three weeks and then i'm going to submit my another verification uh to ask for being having a verified account and then i will see if i get verified you will see a blue tick and i will show you my blue tick here so that is i want to share with you about how you can apply to be a verified account use a passport to create a digital foot life or footprint in your search up to be search google yourself first of all and to see what you have some people can google themselves but what they have there is just bad words yelling to people bad things like insulting others they're not going to have give you a verified account by being uh, online and just bullying other people so you need to have what kind of information do you put on online so that is what i can explain to you and how you can be able to have a verified instagram account another time we'll talk about verified uh, Twitter account, but today is just how to get a verified Instagram account. You what procedure you have to go through, but what can you do to prepare yourself before you submit that application? What kind of identification you need to have? I prefer more to put a passport, is more verifiable, more authentic, more legit than this just normal ID. And especially if you're in a developing country, if you give me the ID like normal one, you say maybe this one is a fake one. So someone can be easier to to just challenge a certain kind of id you have so that is how to apply and get uh instagram verified accounts in case you don't get it you know what uh, went wrong how how long can you wait you can wait and then reapply if you get it it's good for you so thank you so much that's what i want to share with you on how you can apply and get a verified account on instagram so thank you thank you everyone remember to subscribe here click this button so that wherever i'm going to post the video you get the notification so that you can be keeping here and many people to be watching but also there are this video here this video here on above there are so many uh suggestion here just go and click one of the video get more information about book writing about these kind of education videos about losing weight videos about immigration in the u.s videos about scholarships all opportunities you want to know you can get it from ebm scholars website and the ebm scholars channel so thank you everyone enjoy your life and remember to share this video to your friends and family goodbye